Hey everyone and welcome back to my next installment here. This is the final one in this little mini series. This is showing you the moment before the Rider Waite deck and the moment after. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna set these off to the side. So this one I find so, so funny. Here he is just, you know, picking up flour and he's all enjoying it over here. And then he isn't paying enough attention and he's about to fall off of a cliff. Hanging on for dear life there. So up next is the magician. So as you can see, here is the moment before, here is the during, and here is the moment after. Now this one is pretty subtle in the um, differences here. So as you see, the moment before the moon isn't quite wrapped up in her um, in her dress and the owl you know is sitting on her head and everything um, and here she's holding keys so they're just this one is just super super subtle um, there's just some minor uh, changes in that a lot of the other ones um, they are a heck of a lot more noticeable. Um, so now here is the Empress. I'm not going to go into an explanation of each one of them. Just give you a few seconds uh, to see what I am talking about with the before and the during and the after. And as I told you, he would eventually come into the series at some point as he is sticking his head in here now. We are moving on to card number four in the deck, which is the Emperor. And number five, which is the Hierophant. Again, the before, the during, and the after. Again, this video is probably going to be one of my longest videos. The before the during, and the after. So here is the chariot, the before, the during, and the after. Again, like I said, a lot of the cards, it is super subtle, and some of them you can really, really um, tell the before and the after. So card number eight. We have the strength card. This is my daughter's favorite card because she is a huge, huge lion lover. And 
And now we have the hermit, we have the before, the during, and the after. And like I said, obviously, um, some are super subtle and some are really, really obvious. And that one, you can tell the differences in each card. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is card number 10 in the Major Arcana. The before, the during, and the after. number 11 which is justice and i'm holding down this card just to prevent the glare from the ring light so you can see it a little bit better the before the during and the after Okay, and we have number 12, which is the Hanged Man. Again, these differences are super, super easy to see as the before, the during, and the after. And now we have the Death card. before, during, and after. Temperance, before, during, and after. And here we have the devil before, during, and after. Now the tower is very, very noticeable in the differences in the moment before, during, and after. I feel like the nice thing, although they are all Rider Waite Smiths, is to me, each of these decks hold a little bit different of a meaning with each card by the symbolism that is in it, which is really nice. So we have the star, the before, the during, and the after. And here we have the moon, before, during, and after. The sun, before, during, and after.
starting to realize I'm getting a little sloppy in what I'm doing. I am just trying to um, speed this up a tiny, tiny bit because I'm realizing we're already at 12 and a half minutes. So it is going to be a pretty long video. And I don't want to absolutely bore you. But I do feel like this is a um, good flip through comparison. So I don't think I've actually seen anyone flip through each one of them in order. Now we're on to the pentacles. We're about halfway done at this point. And as always, let me know if there is anything that you would like to see um, in video on my channel um, because I will definitely get around to it if I can. Um, as I said, I probably have close to 60 decks, if not over 60 decks, and some of them are still coming in the mail. couple of pre-orders too so
and now we're on to the wands. I feel like this is the wands and the swords I feel like have um, the most noticeable differences in the cards. The cups and the pentacles, they're noticeable too, but not quite um, the way that, that the wands and the swords are. And again, I feel like each one of these has such a different um, meaning to them that Corinne Kenner kind of gave the before and the after tarot to compared to the um, Rider Waite Smith deck. And here comes Shadow joining in again. Hi, sweetie. We're almost done. We only have, um, let's finish up the wands and then we are on to the swords, which is the final suit. Obviously the coloring is a little different from each deck. This one is a little more vibrant. I'm wondering if I compared this to, um, the centennial one. Um, I think that one may be more similar in color to the before and the after. Um, I feel like it may be. hoping to get one more um, deck film tonight. I'm not sure which one it is going to be. So I guess we'll see. I'm going to turn up my ring light a little bit. I feel like not seeing the before as good right now. And like I said, I feel like the swords is the most, absolutely the most noticeable difference in the before, the during, and the after. Especially this one.
<laughs> I feel like this is definitely going to be probably one of the longest videos on my channel. The longest is going to be um, my entire collection. So, um, yeah, that one will probably be split into a few parts. That'll probably actually be split into four parts. I'm thinking of doing my Rider Weight and their clones. Um, the, um... more of the novelty decks and then the next video I'm thinking will be more of the pip style uh, Marseille decks and then obviously Oracle so they're all going to be there it's gonna be a four-parter for sure all right and thank you for hanging out with me during this one and getting to see what they all look like um, together. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video for you.